Hey folks, welcome to Artline, where we'll show you a brief view of the steps we take to install your loved one's memorial. The very first thing we do is check the levels of the concrete on site to make sure your headstone will sit evenly. We strive to ensure every memorial is installed on a level foundation to prevent future problems. Then we measure the base correctly. Using the measurements of your headstone's base, we mark accurately where the memorial will sit on the existing concrete. We then place a soft packing, here we are using sacking, on the edge of the concrete, close to the measured line. We do this to prevent scratching by protecting the base's polished surface from the concrete. Next we place two 4x2 wooden runners on the concrete. Then using care, lift and lower your base onto the wooden runners. This allows us to position your base easily without risking our fingers or risking the stone dragging on the concrete. We then turn the base over onto the padding at the rear of the area we mark. Once the base is safely in position, we can accurately mark the location of the dowels. Using a pop drill, we then drill 50 millimetres or more into the concrete. This is so the dowels will anchor into our concrete. We use all the appropriate PPE such as dust masks, earmuffs and face shields. We brush the dust and use a hose to blow the holes clear of debris. We lightly wet the concrete and headstone base before applying semi-key concrete glue within the pencil lines. This is done to ensure the best adhesion for the stone to the concrete. Now we are ready to mix cement and get to the messy part. Gloves help us reduce any risk of cement burns. We mix the cement up until it is a Play-Doh-like consistency to ensure it will seal nicely underneath the base. We spread the cement along the lines and dob patches across the glued area. We take care to leave a clear space where any vast holes are to let the water drain. Before we handle any stone, we always wash and dry our hands of any cement. One of us will lower the base onto the cemented area wiggle it into place and once again check the levels. Sometimes we might need to level the base with gentle tapping with a wooden handle end of a dumpy hammer or a sledge. This doesn't hurt the stone but allows us to move it as required before the cement sets. Sometimes we will add four wedges temporarily to the corners of the base to prevent movement and so the base will remain level while we mount the stone onto the back of the base. As you can see, we place your headstone on top of the soft packing at the back of the base to eliminate any scratching of the stone. We do this when transporting the stone at all times to ensure no damage. We then cut dowels to fit the stone, using a dusk mask and gloves for the fibre polymer dowel, checking carefully to ensure each dowel has at least 5 to 10 millimetres of clearance up the stone. If the dowels didn't have this clearance, the stone wouldn't sit nicely and would remain loose. We fill the two base dowel holes with cement before placing the ribbed fibre reinforced polymer dowel up them. Then fill the dowel holes of the headstone with cement carefully to ensure no air bubbles are up the holes. After this, we are ready to position the headstone on the base. We place the clean wooden runners over the base to allow for correct positioning and for protection of the base from chipping or scratching. We spread cement at either end where the stone will make contact with the base. After we make sure our hands are clean and dry, we carefully lift the stone into position and check that the dowels line up. The use of wedges will help us rock the stone gently into place. This can allow us to lower very heavy stones in a safe and controlled manner. To do this, we rock the stone onto the wedges, remove the wooden runners, dob cement where the runners used to sit, then carefully lower the stone while drawing the wedges out. Once the wedges have been removed, we work quickly to position the stone as it will float on the cement of a few seconds. We once again check the level of the stone like this, and check the stone is centred on the base. Depending on how well we have placed it, we may need to guide it softly into place. We brace the base while we gently tap into position. Then we do a final check to make sure all measurements are the correct. Then it's time to clean up. We wipe up excess cement with a sponge or brush, or if need be, fill any gaps with more cement. We check the vast holes and clean any excess cement out before making sure we leave a hole for the water to drain, just like here. We use a wet sponge to remove the worst of the excess cement before drying the stone and base with a dry towel to remove any cement stain. 
Once we place your vases in the headstone, it will be clean, tidy, and ready for your unveiling.